Break camp to fairly quiet conditions across the area this morning. We did have those showers and thunder showers work through late yesterday into the early part of the overnight period. And now drier air is working in. We've got a warm front that's stretching right through the center part of our viewing area. It's going to be lifting northward today. And as it does, our temperatures are going to make it back into the 70s for highs today. We're at 49 in Kalamazoo, 53 South Haven, 41 in Grand Rapids and Greenville, 43 degrees now in Fremont, 39 in Big Rapids. Overall, we'll be looking at a good deal of cloud cover across the region today. Chance of an isolated shower or thunder shower working through early in the day, but a better chance of those showers and storms late afternoon into the evening hours as the cold front works through. It's the backside of the system, which will bring us back into some drier and cooler air for tomorrow. And then sharply colder air will be wrapping in with an upper level low pressure center for the weekend. 74 the high today, 62 tomorrow, 47 the high temperature on Saturday, only in the mid 40s on Sunday. And by Monday morning, we could be looking at another frost and freeze event going on as those temperatures drop back below freezing. And we look at precipitation chances again today with that front in the region. We have a chance at a shower just about any time, but the best chance of those widespread showers and storms will be late afternoon into the early evening. And tomorrow, if we see rain, it'll be during the early part of the day, then just a wintry mix possible Saturday, early Sunday morning. A little light precipitation may be left over. Most of Sunday looks dry. Most of Monday looks dry as well. And then more active weather builds back in again by later Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So as we take a look at the uh, future cast, you'll definitely see that warm front lifting in. And with these fronts in the region, just about any time we can see areas pretty close to the front with some active weather developing, but much of the area will be dry much of the day. That being said, make sure you keep that umbrella handy. The cold front approaching from the west will be rolling through this evening and overnight tonight, and that will represent the best chance of those showers and storms working through. And then if we do see any rain tomorrow to be just during the early morning hours, we will see breezy conditions take over for tomorrow, but the drier air will return with high temperatures in the low 60s. And then that next low pressure center keeps most of the precipitation off to our east and southeast. A wintry mix says that an upper level disturbance comes through on Saturday. Sunday, cooler air settles in, and then we're back into the 50s for highs as we head into the middle to tail end of next week. So, Tom, how are drivers doing this morning? Right now, things are looking pretty good out there across area roadways as we kick off our Thursday morning commute. Taking a look at all of the freeways right now heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area. No significant problems right now encountering uh, any drivers heading out. Uh, we do have some construction that has started already. Closed northbound division between Burton and Cottage Grove. And southbound will have one lane open. And this is going to run through the 5th of May. So watch for delays in the area as a result of that. And then in downtown Lewis Street is closed between Ionia and Ottawa. Short little closure there, but uh, that will only be in place until probably about Sunday or Monday. Uh, and then one lane will be open and that is through May 12th. So uh, some construction out there that uh, just be aware of. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Trace and Donovan. All righty.